Now that you know the benefits, you may be asking yourself, are there different types of virtual field trips? The answer is yes, with the most common being the prepackaged or teacher created virtual field trips. As you'll see later in this presentation, the 4-H virtual field trip is an example of a prepackaged trip or one made by others. These trips package information about a place, theme, or time period using a multitude of web-based interactive activities such as websites to explore, videos and podcasts to listen to, and 3D interactive games or quizzes. The teacher-created virtual field trip can be developed in a more personalized format, taking into account specific curricular and developmental class goals and content, and allows for greater control over the experience. As you're, as you're creating your field trip, remember to think about something that the students can turn in at the end to be accountable for and plan your technology. Test websites beforehand. In addition to these two types, there are two categories that can occur before or after an actual field trip. A pre-field trip activity may help students prepare for an upcoming class field trip by Skyping with a professional knowledgeable about the topic, preview websites that relate to the topic, or use Google Maps for satellite views. A post-field trip activity helps synthesize what students learned on an actual field trip. Students may be assigned an item to research. For example, if you're going to the Natural History Museum, each student or group is assigned a dinosaur they would photograph and make notes. Once back from the trip, students use a collaborative digital tool such as Google Slides to house such artifacts and share this culminating activity with others in a virtual field trip class exchange or with family and friends. As you can see, the types of field trips are as varied as there are places to visit.